Yeah. You're rolling. I don't want to talk. You have to talk. You're talking. I don't know what you're doing. I can't do it. I can't this do it. This is your idea. <laughs> no, I can't. I'm leaving that in there. No. I don't know what we're doing. We're not going to make a very good video if you can't talk. I mean, I'm not. You introduce it and then I'll talk through it. I don't want to talk and it, oh, like that. Well, yeah, but I didn't say you had to introduce it. Got a glare. We got a glare. Oh, 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 we got more glares. Right there. What's up, guys? Uh, we're doing another uh, episode of Ellie's Kitchen. We're going to make a series out of this, I guess. Um, I need to stop looking up at the screen. We're going <laughs> to. What are we making? Uh, chicken fried chicken. Chicken fried chicken. Uh, cream cheese, garlic mashed potatoes. I don't know if they can hear you. That sauce whisper you guys. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? Cream cheese. Garlic mashed potatoes. Garlic mashed potatoes. And cream corn. And cream corn. Homemade cream corn. Homemade cream corn. Got uh, homemade mashed potatoes. And chicken fried chicken with homemade gravy. It's gonna be good. Uh, she's nervous again. I don't know why. She's done this like four times now. So. I'm yeah, but I'm usually not in the camera. <laughs> yeah, you are. You're always in the camera. Not like this much. This is too much. Too much? Yeah. Maybe it's because of this new lens. This is off. Okay, there you go. Now you're not in the camera no more. Yes, I am. Okay, so I don't ever measure anything, but I'm going to measure it. Which is really odd to me. What measuring is? Yes. <laughs> I don't measure anything. A pinch and a dab. Yeah, well, I just eyeball it, everything. So we're going to need three cups of flour. And I normally use regular breadcrumbs, but I don't have any, so we're using Italian style. So we're making do with what we got. So one cup of that. This is going to be really weird to measure this. Yeah. Sure it'll be just fine when you start getting used to measuring. No, I don't like it. Two tablespoons of fajita seasoning, which we use this in everything. Show, show the bottle. It's just Up close. Farmer Brothers fajita seasoning. It's just uh, salt, garlic, onion, black pepper. Black pepper. That's it. We use it on everything now. A lot, and a lot tenderizer. Of, a lot of people has asked asked about it. So I'm gonna do two tablespoons of granulated garlic. A tablespoon of seasoned salt. And I'm not measuring this. The cayenne is strong, so you just need like a tablespoon. Cayenne. Or a teaspoon, sorry. And then a little bit of paprika. Not a whole bunch. Okay. You want to do this part? Might as well. I'll just you just do your thing. I'm gonna tenderize it a little bit because the ends are really big. We call this chicken fried chicken. But some people call it chicken cutlets, especially with the Italian breadcrumbs in there. You a apron. Cayenne. <laughs> oh no. We're <laughs> doing a sneezing again already? Cayenne, yeah. So, we're going to do some buttermilk. Today with chicken fried chicken. We almost need to do this in sections, but we want this dinner all at once. So we got about three pounds of potatoes here with the skins on, red skin potatoes. 
some salt. And we are going to double bread these. Go for it. Okay. I'm trying to get out of that glare. So we're going to. Uh, as much as possible. Double dip these. I'm gonna go flour, buttermilk, flour. Let's make it nice and crispy. It's a trick to know if your oil's ready. Look. Yeah, I put my finger in good enough. If you do this, see we're seeing bubbles like after a second, so it's not quite ready. Nice. Do you know that with a wooden spin? No. Yeah, that's how you know if your oil's ready. We just use canola oil for frying. You weren't going to dip them? Could you just flour them? You could just flour them, yeah. But they don't get as crispy. Like this last one, I'm just going to go wet to dry because the flour is gone and yeah. it's getting thick. We're gonna do a half a stick of butter. Homemade cream corn. Can you smell the Italian breadcrumbs? Yeah.
tablespoons to half the stick of butter. And we're going to use two cans of corn drained. This is how I thicken all my soup. I'm going to have some heavy cream. In a pinch, if you don't have heavy cream, you could just use cream cheese. And sometimes I put cream cheese in my cream pot. So you're going to add the heavy cream, which I can't hold that and stir at the same time. And it start to instantly thicken, just like when you're making gravy. A little bit of milk also. cook these about six minutes on each side on medium heat and then I uh, pop them in the oven afterwards so everything else when everything else is finishing up they can finish up in the oven you don't have to do it that way but I usually cook so many that it's a lot easier to get a bunch done at the same time we're just taking some of the drippings for the gravy. We don't need all of them. I want all the goodness in there. A lot of crunchies. Drain it? Yep, we're gonna drain them. Now you just done the mess for Mm-hmm. Let them sit for a minute. Where's our meat? I'm just going to mash these potatoes by hand. Put it back in the oven right? Yep, I'm going to put it in right now. Along with the croissants. Show sure those. What are you doing now? A stick of butter. 
I'm gonna put the cream cheese in there. We're gonna that melt down a little bit. Don't cool off our potatoes too much. <clears throat> tablespoon of granulated garlic. Is that a tablespoon? Yep. <laughs> Ground white pepper, a half a teaspoon, not a lot. Salt, one tablespoon. regular pepper in there. Not much. And we're gonna start with a fourth of a cup, I think probably yeah. We're gonna start with a fourth of a cup. Why don't we do want some quite a bit of gravy because we just don't take it very much so half a cup. Flour. That's perfect. You want to cook the flour taste out? And we're going to wait to add the salt because the chicken already had quite a bit of salt, but we're going to add pepper. Add a half a teaspoon pepper. You need to make sure you stir this so it doesn't burn too. I mean, take a while for it to burn, but just I like to stir it. <laughs> what works when it's going too good? No, it's pretty bad shape. Most people use whole milk for this, and you can use heavy cream if you really want it to be rich. It's starting to get dark there. Just add your milk slowly. There it goes. You want to stir this vigorously when you add the milk. You'll know how fast to add it. So I can't say that, but. Yeah. And. Dash. 
Schön. Oh. Well, we're about to plate this and we're gonna get on with the night. Um, let me know down in the comments what you guys think about these videos. Should we figure maybe once a week we'll we'll toss out something just random, whatever we're having for supper, cook it up, steaks on the grill. Uh, I got a corned beef. Is that a corned beef I brought home? Yeah. I'd like to make a video of corned beef and cabbage. It'd be pretty cool. Where you want me? Over the plates. Over the plates. Over here? Yep. Yeah, I shorten up my thing. Hang on a second. See my gravy's getting thicker already. There you go. Top it off with a croissant roll. And if you have fresh parsley, fresh parsley. And then go four more times. Freak eat. Here's the guy. Making the gravy a little bit thinner. Yeah, I want it thinner. A little bit thinner. It thickens as you let it sit. So there's what we got. Now we are going to plate this. And <clears throat> this is my daughter's favorite meal, so she wanted this for her birthday. Um, she got some friends over, and we're gonna have dinner now. So. Uh, Hit me up in the comments what you think of this video. I appreciate you guys watching. Stay tuned for more videos.